YouTubers, and welcome to another Doctor Who action figure review. Today I'm looking at the Scovox Blitzer from The Caretaker, which is part of the three and three quarter inch Doctor Who line, Wave 3. Let's begin by taking a look at the packaging. The figure comes packaged on the standard blister card featuring the new series style guide. The back of the card features a look at some of the other figures and deluxe items available in the line. I'll be honest, I was never a fan of the Scovox Blitzer in the episode. I wasn't a fan of the Caretaker per se, if I'm honest, but I thought the toy looked really good. I thought it was a very interesting figure. Let's begin by taking a look at the articulation. Quite a lot of interesting stuff going on with this guy. First off, the head. Can't turn completely 360 degrees, and there's a reason for this. If you look on the back, you can see there are these two pipes, which are slightly malleable, but they don't stretch too far, and you don't want to force it any further because you will snap them. So that's why the head can't turn totally 360 degrees. And you can see there's some slight spring back from where you push it, but overall you can get a nice bit of movement out of it. He has articulation at the shoulders, which allow his arms to swivel up and down. You can't really get them to go 360 unless you force them, but you'll also note that there is no elbow articulation, which is a shame. Uh, I would have thought there might have been. He does have articulation at the waist. As you can see here, he can turret 360 degrees, just like in the episode. And he also has these four ball jointed legs. Now these come packaged loose in the packaging. You have to put these together. So they are all exactly the same and you can just put them in any of the sockets. They plug in really easily and you can detach them again like so. So as you can see, they clip in and come out very easily. So there are, they are slightly ball jointed. You can rotate them all the way around should you wish, and they can pivot up and down as well. So you can get quite a lot of different poses out of the legs, should you wish to do so. And you just put them in default pose like that. This is an absolutely fantastic figure, and it's one of the reasons why I wanted it, because not, I, not because I liked the character, far from it, it was because I thought the toy looked very interesting. You can see there's a lot of great detail here. The silver has been given this copper-like wash to make it look quite worn and used and battle damaged, which is a really nice effect. The smaller details of the sculpt are incredibly intricate. You have these little buttons and bolts, very small intricate details sculpted all around it. Although there's not a huge amount of paint apps, you do get the odd thing here and there. Looking at his arms, you have the larger cannon-like weapon and then the other three nozzled gun on the other side. And this again continues the excellent sculpting work. And just like I showed you earlier, there's also these pipes running up the back of the figure that go into the back of his head, and these are just a very soft rubber material. The head itself is very well done. There's no softening to the sculpt, and there's no paint bleed around the eyes. It's all very neat and tidy, and it looks really good. And here's the 12th Doctor stood alongside the Scovox Blitzer, just for you to get an idea of how tall he is in comparison to the Doctor. Obviously, you can make him taller. You can make the legs higher, should you wish, and make him slightly more imposing, like so. It doesn't add an awful lot of height to him, but it gives him a bit extra. Unfortunately, I don't have the Doctor from the Caretaker, which is now out in Wave 4. They're just hitting the shelves. I haven't seen them yet, unfortunately. It isn't actually a variant that I plan to get, but uh, if you're a fan of the story, I'm sure you'll be interested in getting both Scovox Blitzer and the caretaker version of the 12th Doctor as well. But overall, I think this is a really fun figure. Uh, if you're a fan of the episode, I definitely recommend trying to get your hands on it. And if you're a fan of the three and three quarter inch line, this is a quite an interesting figure to get because he's different compared to the other humanoid figures or the Daleks that we've seen in previous waves. So thanks for watching this review, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I shall see you next time for more Doctor Who action figure reviews.